direction. Bet we could have made some money if we'd stopped by nowhere first. Will you please stop? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but how about some positivity for a change? Positivity? How? We're on some crazy hurricane planet, about to be soaked to the bone, on our way to squeeze our last chance at freedom out of some mythical warlord. Lady. War lady. Additionally, Nova Corps confiscated your crate of weaponry. <gasps> yeah, that too. I'd forgotten about that. Do you need a hug? No. I thought you'd be thrilled to finally set foot on Seknarf 9, Drax, but you're awfully composed. I am endeavoring to contain my enthusiasm. Our mission is of prime importance. Really? No, you are correct. I am very eager. <laughs> I hope you all like walking, because this is gonna take a while. You think I'm glad we landed this far from the fortress? Cheer up, rodent. The rain will be refreshing. Rain is sky trash. <laughs> Calm down yourself. You love rain, you Clark and Plant. Uh, why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? <laughs> Ramitar did have a nice forest, because it was dry. For the record, I still think selling the runt is a bad idea. He is not a runt. You have seen him in combat. He is a vicious, cruel, bloodthirsty beast. Ha! Now that's a tagline I can endorse. Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. I am Groot. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Are we going? Because I'm ready. So we need to... Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. Beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast! All that's left is the merchant part! Good thing I put on my official merchant costume! There is no such thing! Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good! So, what's the deal with Captain's girlfriend anyway? Ouch! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. At least we'll have time to think about our sales pitch. Small furry creature, lightly used. Underwhelming. The rodent has menacing fangs. We shall focus on them. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of some... Oh, Clark! That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! 
So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger! Yeah, keyword live! If any of you die, I'm going back to the ship! We should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Our uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. It ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rodin. Eh, uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. You think I'm scared of some little. What? It's not alone. Get ready. These were sent by Lady Hellbender! If this is a test, we're aging it! Lock it low, Rocket! Watch the spiky things! Now is not the time for watching Peter Quill! Shooting the jelly's no good! We need to wrap the spikes inside! Forget the jelly! Trash destroy! Or end is now! He's got a knife! Hit him down, Bruce! I have decimated a gelatinous mass! Put him through! And more critters to add to our collection, boys! Let's exterminate him! Watch it! Guys! Guess this is the local fauna! It's about to be an endangered species! I was getting bored anyway. Glad we can entertain you. Destroy the chorus to kill them. You're a grill. Unleash me on the general life advice. Stay away from its sharp edges. Crush them, Drax. Jelly's on the offensive. <laughs> Spiky things! At least our cars are vulnerable! It's dewy outside! Keep regenerating! We need to wrap the spikes inside! Forget the jelly! Watch it! Spikes! Spikes are dry, Drew! Perhaps he's not sent by my helmet! Time 
time to shred them! To the bone! They keep moving around! Not when they're dead, they don't! A creature mocks us with its regenerative jiggling! Excellent work expediting the jiggling vermin rodent! What? I don't know! Don't eat them! So that's what a monster around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets, but food. You sorta of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Shall I continue ripping it apart? No, no, no. I think we're good. You ever fly one of these things, Gamora? No doubt she shot them down. I fought the Shatari, same as you. And yes, I flew one. Along with two other ships for the Resistance. Ugh. Mud in this area smells queer. It's them jelly things we fought. I think they, uh, you know, secrete in here. You mean that we are standing in a latrine? Not all of us! Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. What's a resistance ship doing all the way out here anyway? What does your magical mask reveal? There they are! Wing controls! I ain't seen one of these fly swatters in years. Need your expert skills again, Rocket. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! If you see anything with claws the size of Drax, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing for? For sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. You are looking for trouble, assassin. Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it'll jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm.
am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once... A uh, brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. You could fit a lot of teeth into a head that big. You have no idea. Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Oh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so look at yourself. What are you firing at, Peter Quill? Did you see a monster? No, just trying to stay ready. Cage full of monster eggs. Still no sign of mommy monster. She's staying hidden for now. Maybe she's scared of us. You tell yourself that. You're up, Gamora. Peter Quill, I have found the way forward. You sure, Drax? No. Good enough. says everything with skin is monstrous to him. But it's less disgusting when they have fur covering. Hey, thank <laughs> This is further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we ain't wanted, we never go anywhere. Good point. This place is a flark and maze. All those trees look like... Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. What about you, Drax? Worst monster? Oh, no. No, 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 no. He's just gonna say, the rodent. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization. The only settlement I saw when we were topside was 
Lady Hellbender's fortress. This jungle is majestic. In an everything's trying to kill you sort of way, sure. That is precisely why it is majestic. Tracks, Gamora. You're just messing with us, right? Nope. <laughs> Are you frightened, Rodent? I'm cautious. You try being this size. I gotta watch out for things that can eat me in one gulp. Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They use them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Put me down. No. We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of fucking chalks! How will we cross? Look around, we'll find another way. Shooting your way out of every problem again, Peter? Trying to. What's Shatari Tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this? Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled an invading swarm, and it was among the spoils. Maybe. Or maybe she was real cozy with the bugs. <laughs> Ridiculous. to throw the rodent. No, it would not. What if he breaks a leg? He would still have three. No one's throwing rocket. are of the monsters on this planet? They're made of rock. Thanks, genius. I mean, maybe this is why Hellbender is so hot for monsters. Just another religious nut. He's not a nut of any kind. Maybe these are the people she conquered. Some of these statues look familiar, if you catch my drift. These mouth breathers worship monsters. Maybe they'd have seen space bear and bugs as gods. You belittle the Sagnathians, know nothing of their ways. I know folks that carve idols worship them, and I know anyone with half a brain don't worship nothing.
I know, I know. I just got turned around. Turned around? We're powering in here from Lady Helden. <laughs> Why not both? What do we have here? I found a thing. Give me a minute. Dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet. Right. Hey, my shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is focus and, you know, heroism. we could fashion a catapult. We're not throwing rocket. A miracle it's still standing in these storms. Drax, think you can topple this? I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. Right. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Great place to leave a skull. Wait, hear that? Voice oh. up, people. Incoming! <laughs> yes, I know we're in a fight! Stop! You owe me one, Quill! I thought I was 
a goner, man. Fuck it! Blast him! These things would have come in handy a second ago. Then I shall remove their wings. No, you don't let them grab me. Blow them up! You're not me size! So glad you parked all this way away, Quill! At least we didn't get shut down by a lightning! Deadliest woman incoming! We can fly these beasts straight to Lady Elven! I ain't riding something that wants to eat me! I yearn for monsters. Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the block are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. Are you so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units says it ain't. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. She possesses flying creatures. Drax, some of your Lady Hellbender tidbits are questionable. You can say that again. More or less questionable than your flying skills, Peter Quill. He's got you there. Care to bet on what's on the other side of these vines? Maybe. How much? You guys are unbelievable. Oh, an old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitari infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the rules here? No! Just making someone else could cross the death pit first.
merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B, okay? Anyone else feeling ready to move on? Groot says no. We'll be fine. Just go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing me, assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. Groot says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, no. Yep, definitely saw the giant cat. Oh, no. Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. <sighs> I got it. Uh, guys, anyone know what that is? Monster! Running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. And it is settled. Let us scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. 
We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out! Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. What's taking so long? See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Alright, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. Probably here. This... Unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe someone was trying to fix up the old bomber. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Ta-da! Doing, doing, done. so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Maybe this hell lady is some old war hero and she can get Nova off her ass. I wouldn't bring up the war. How come? Those of us who took part are not eager to relive its memories. That. I see. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. No giant monster. All good. <laughs> Need some help moving, Drax. You can place it there. Shall be done. First a down resistance ship, now a Nova Corps one. We're two out of three on Galactic War Bingo. What next, Peter Quill? Are we sure we want to go back up? I'm getting used to not being completely soaked. Groot, is there any way you could bring down that wing? Groot ain't that strong. He says you want something sharp. What do you think made this place worth fighting over? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe the ships we've seen just got taken down by the storms. You think this place was like a secret base? Could be. Middle of nowhere, inhospitable surface, storms provide cover from detection. Maybe refugees fled here. I think I'd rather have been in the war. The few cables are all that's standing between the wing and a makeshift bridge. This wreck is so rusted out, you can hardly see the blue. Long time since the war, and this place is all kind of wet. Feels like yesterday, in all the worst ways. Oh, what is taking so long? Are we doing something with that rusting hunk of metal or watching the weird plants grow? We already got the reactor down, Quill. Don't think there's much else you can do up there. I thought our objective was to climb the ship. That is what Peter Quill is doing. You're both right. But if we're gonna get all the way up to the top of this thing, we'll need a different way. Do you think any bodies are still in there? Oh, I wonder about that wing cable. Probably too thick to just shoot, though. You 
there now. Should only take a second. This brings back memories. Mm. Impressive. See, that was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops. Here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's got bigger, that's for sure. <laughs> it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. Lady Hellbender's raft. Even the Chitauri feared her. They didn't fear many back then. <clears throat> okay, here we go! <clears throat> oh, slimy. Uh, guys? You might want to wait to come down here. <clears throat> oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? <clears throat> you think? Some schmack reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I, I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! It's like what? Clark, Clark, Clark. <sighs> Quill. Quill. Slimy. Uh, guys? You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? <clears throat> you think? Some schmack reach! Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. Like what? Clark, Clark. Quill, Quill. <laughs> I don't know. My blasts, they... 
I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, they pull scut like this. I just, could you just leave the guns me, alone? Me, I, I, Quill, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys. DNA code in the wings. Put some kind of morphing nano Or sorcery. Here we go again. we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star! Let's... Figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. The planetoid. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Ah, impossible. It will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold it for a while longer? You try holding it for a while. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. We've got to find a way to lock it in place. Ah. I cannot hold it forever! Why will you not yield? Because it's attached to a recoily thing. You sure that's the term for it? Rocket, can you extend that cannon? With my brute animal strength? Drax, can you try again? Succumb to me, fiendish machine! Use your weapons of sorcery. No! I have been best at Peter Quill. This Drax, can you try again? It resists my glories! I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Any way you can bring that one down with vines or something? <laughs> he says his vines ain't strong enough to move them things. Come on, Quill. Let me get a look at them guns. No. You're not tinkering with my only means of defense. Fine. I'll swipe them next time you're asleep. And I'll be sleeping with them under my pillow. Good. Now I know where to find them. Drax, can you drag out that higher cannon? Impossible. It is too far from the ground. Gamora, can you reach that cannon? I can, but I won't be able to get it out if that's what you want.
Still can't get over Quill's crazy friggin' guns. No, I'm not jealous. I'm just saying that if anyone on this team should have crazy friggin' guns, it's me! I'm not jealous! Rocket, any ideas on getting that top one out? Not from this angle, no. So, any bets on what else Quill's guns can do? I mean, there's no telling with all that sneaky Sparto attack, right? Get over the guns! What do you mean, get over the guns? They got bolt pulsars and a cryo compressor! <laughs> get over the guns! I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Ah, oh, what reeks in here? That. Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. Are you okay in the rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Flark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing! Rocket, you okay? <laughs> yep! And dry now, too! Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a regalian? <laughs> yes. Their heads are ridiculous. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Careful. It might be playing dead. Not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother, Lady Hellbender. Oh. Yeah, I doubt it, Drax. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? Drax, could you move a bit to the right? You're a cool dude, Groot. I am Groot. Hey, uh, since we got a sec, you've known Rocket way longer than I have. I am Groot. You know he can be kind of unpredictable, temperamental even, feisty. I am Groot. What I'm asking is, is he going to be able to go through with this? I am Groot. That sounded like a yes. Good. Thanks, man. Where did you guys go? The uh, employee evaluation. Did you pass? That's confidential. Change my mind. Will's ice cream the game? Oh, first Maybe, but my sweet death man has still got 17,000 different murder configurations. Uh, such as. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is both. It means he went the wrong way, but is too stubborn to admit it. Why 
water into ice. Go off. <laughs> you know, you guys should take my ideas more seriously. I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. I sure hope that buttless beast ain't running back to mommy to tell on us. Should have aimed for its head, Gamora. At least I took an appendage. What did you do? Hey, that thing is like seriously bruised. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if it just keeled over. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! <laughs> You are dead! Dead! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Just be a lesson to you, Rodent. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Then stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. In many ways, this planet reminds me of my home world. If we can't get across it, maybe we can go around it. Looking for cracks, caves, or crevices, people? I feel like I've heard you say that before, but in a different context. Do we know anything about Lady Hellbender's demeanor? You said that Anyone she... but Drax? Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There is little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh. Anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Oh. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the flock? Oh. Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax. Can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. Uh, that is disturbingly fragrant. Uh, uh. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter, why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got to work food? on your taste. But the cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our. With our monster peacefully walking beside us, we'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? The more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety as leader.
Any tell them we're just passing through! I don't think they'll negotiate with food! Guys, huddle up! Why'd you call us in, Peter? I, for one, am doing great out there. As am I, assassin. So perhaps he wants you out of my way. I am good. Or maybe he wants you to sit back and watch so you can learn from a pro. Guys! Have you forgotten who we are? We fear none. Why would we fear? We're winning. Right! Exactly! Because we've never known another way but winning. Who's with me? This battle Way to reason, Peter! Quick is part of the job! Well, they won't get us back if we pin him down! Laura, cut him down! Don't miss! I will mount your head! We're not bringing back leftovers! Coming with me. We better hurry. Oh, first rain. This Jelly, the slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flirting planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. We do smell exceptionally foul. Yeah, way worse than usual. I swear, Quill, that's the last time I follow you through, Rocket. Pool. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah. Really great. So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady Ink? We're gonna fight a monster queen? She would be a formidable adversary indeed. And if well, all don't go well, then we'll know we should have sold things out over here. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. Pray you, mate. I love you. Oh, Seknar ain't never heard of Rose. You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Good. They deserve it. Zeknoth 9 is a sanctuary. They say that if you leave behind a single piece of refuse, Lady Hellbender will personally return it to you. In the most unpleasant way. That can't be true. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat!
So if we're gonna haggle with the monster, how much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take two. One for every precious air follicle on this flawless body. Count. It's bizarre. Hey, at least I have some to count. <gasps> That thing heavy, Quill? Surprisingly light. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. What the floor? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. All because of one lousy source. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far, what if we've been towing that? Th Let's just get this done. You can't be serious. Okay, it's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flark in Infinity Bridge, is what it is. Ah, uh, you've been dramatic, Rodent. The bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you blue? Oh! Right! The cage. I wouldn't have even gotten the flark and things looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch.
remind me again. How many missions have we been on so far? Thirteen. Fourteen, if you count contracts. Contraxia was not a mission. It was a mistake. All right. Point is, is I was able to sell you. Gamora, daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin. As a hero. Fourteen times! <laughs> Fine. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Drat. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. Will you stop worrying so much? You're gonna start growing knots again. Okay, here we go. someone else wants to pull this thing. We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 13 whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Oh man, traveling through space must be amazing. The final battle was awesome. Looked like the heroes were done for, but they pulled it off. This is going to be so cool. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid. But it's been busted ever since I can remember. Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. 
Something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. No, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I wanna go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on, it's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff, or some of it, tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there, it's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together.
Don't you dare touch that dial. Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. Hand still stings from catching Mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. I should make you clean your room before you leave. Please don't. One day, I'll have to get down there and just throw everything out. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? saying I can handle a little solo extraction no offense but you ain't exactly invested in my safe return my skin my plan your call Peter the fork it is. I'm the one in the box lady Peter Quill is our leader the burden of your possible death falls on his shoulders fully on board with Rocket's plan that I was totally paying attention to wait what about gymnastics I just think we shouldn't be relying on a piece of tech you won't even be around to use. To find it ain't neutrino splicing, it's a tracker. Even you mouth breathers can figure it out. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. I'm Groot. Bonafide monster sellers. Today, anyway. What's in the box? A monstrous abomination from Halfworld and the meanest SOB in the Quadrant. Pass. Pass? Rocket! Things puny. It is a hell beast, the namesake of your mistress. You would be wise to reconsider. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Hell beast? It is an accurate moniker. The little beast has a hellish demeanor. I like it. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. I would show more caution, Peter Quill. If Lady Hellbender realizes our deceit, her vengeance will be swift. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. The Monster Queen has a monster army. Any chance they're the zookeepers? With guns? 
I have never seen a Pythos tamed. But I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Your genius plan is run away? Backup plan? Which we're not gonna need, but yeah. It's not like she can chase after us with her old monster mash. <clears throat> oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planets in the hospital's surface? Because Quill flies like a one-eyed badoon. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Wow! Look at this place! I'm in the wrong line of work! It is appropriately impressive for a warrior of Lady Hellbender's stature. Someday, that's gonna be ours. Ha! <laughs> Not yours. Come over near me and say that again. This place is cool and all, but could it fit the entire Guardians of the Galaxy fleet? We have a fleet. Then why must we suffer aboard such a small ship? He means... <sighs> Never mind. The Laren Skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh! Explains the vault. Priceless? Vault? Screw this sneaking around. Let's pull off a good, honest heist. No! no! Follow me and pay attention. Do not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my king's competence. Spare me your empty platitude. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not play me for a fool. You are not the first. To claim they have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would be con artist. Uh, I assure you, I said, Milady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of kin. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But, uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just 
Play long, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. Just for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Larkin' time! <laughs> what is it? It... it has a name, lady! And it talks... adorable! <laughs> Quill, make it stop. <laughs> when will it reach its big size? Big size? It is a baby, is it not? Oh, it's a baby, all right. Huge baby. Cries all the time. I ain't a freaking baby. It is a full-grown hell beast. It is not what I was expecting. You're freaking kidding me. But... I could be swayed. What is your asking price? 20,000 units. Twenty thousand. And not a penny less? Twenty thousand? Uh, wow, okay. See, I was thinking more like... Twelve? No. Nine, then. Ugh. The creature is worthless to me. <sighs> I would rather buy the Flora Colossus. Told you. What? You want to buy Groot? Is he for sale? No, he ain't. Just think of the money, Rocket. I am, Quill. And Groot's not for sale. Quill. Guys, less talking, more escaping. <laughs> Who's the monster now? <laughs> what the fuck, Rocket? You heard that, Jackal. You was gonna pay two units for me. So we all get to die because of your. Money. money that we can no longer collect. Whoa, that was lucky. Nothing about this is we lucky. We can bicker later. We need to keep moving. Where are my clothes? I want the Guardians incinerated. What is that? He's cheating. I'm loading that pod. It ain't dying, Quill. Try something else. Now. Lark, act now or we will all perish. We need to get off this thing. It's coming in hot. We gotta cool its jets. We still need a way through. Well, stop wasting time. That won't hold us for long. We still need a way through. Anybody see a way out of here? We need to get off this thing. Peter! Jump! All right, go. Let's try and get out of here in one piece. We ain't done yet. Excuse me? I came here for units, and I ain't leaving without them. I am Groot. Yup, we're gonna clean out that vault we saw on the way up. You can't be serious. Even Peter's not that suicidal. You wanna cut and run, or do you wanna get paid? I want to make it out of here alive. Don't look at me. Rocket got us into this mess. He can get us out. Piece of cake. We just gotta get back to all the elevators. Do not get us killed with your recklessness, Rodent. 
You're lecturing me? You went on an intergalactic killing spree! It's not too late to add one more to that spree. I'm telling you, we can still come out on top of this thing. We'll be lucky if we don't end up on top of a spike. It's more likely that Lady Hellbender would feed us to one of her monsters. Thanks, Drax. Something to look forward to. We should keep moving. We are moving. Well, we should be doing it faster. We got company. Bout time. Get a load of those helmets. Rookie move. The galaxy does not have corners! One Hellraiser like he dealt with! The Assassin's Blade makes short work of these weaklings! Man, he's got no shortage of hired guns! My blades will need resharpening! Drax, toss it! You will compensate our loss, rodent! Oh, sure! Just sell me up the river! I'm telling you, I can smell them units! Throw that trash! Your assurances mean nothing, rodent! Incoming attack! The rodent was a poor choice for our ploy! Don't get sour just because you lost the date! Nice work, Peter! There goes any repeat business! Lady Hellbender will not forgive this rebuke! How can they even see through those helmets? Rookie move! Crush him, Drax! Oh, 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 you need it! Muscles is showing these hell dweebs what's what! Yes, these guys don't waste any time! I got grenades enough for all of them! She's gonna hunt us to the farthest corner! Does not have corners. I Real expected business. more from someone who served Lady hey, Hellbender. At least I'm pulling my weight. It is not much weight to pull. Joke all you want, but without me, you wouldn't be able to get through this door. Without you, we wouldn't be in front of this door. Like I said, piece of cake. One vault, right for the table. 5,000 units to the Hellraiser who kills the so-called Guardians of the Galaxy! Okay, people, let's do this. One catastrophe at a time. This vault better be the mother of all payloads! I'd sell for our lives and enough to pay the fine! This could be our chance to get out of here! 
Lady Hellbender's minions would beg to differ! Lady Hellbender should face us herself! How about if no one faces us? This is really your plan, Rocket! It's his block up is what it is! Yeah! Tell him, Quill! Ha! Just minions? Where's these famous monster? Don't jinx us! Find them and kill them! Kill them! I want them! Slowly they will fall! 